Welcome back to the Rusty Bucket Show. And here we are, finally. We've been sitting, in, he's been sitting in the background for about four videos now. But now it's his turn to meet his fate. Let's see what the Pokey Gods have in store for us. Within this package of fusion strength. Yeah. Here we go. I'm excited. Let me get these out of the way. You didn't see that. Out of the way, sets it over there, and um, I guess we'll just follow the typical, the typical routine. Well, maybe we'll do something a little different. Let's do. So we could do. 12, 24, 36. That's 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Sorry about that. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. They're going to be a little longer than usual, but you know what? I like long form. I prefer long form. We're gonna do 12, 12, and 12. That way we get this box, this booster box done in three videos. And uh, you know, we've had a lot of talk lately about packs being weighed, you know, putting them on scales and, and check, you know, getting an average weight of a pack and then see if there's actually a noticeable difference between packs with good pulls, you know, good heavy foiled cards, and packs that don't. And honestly, I was thinking about doing that today, but I kind of feel like that should be a higher production type thing, and we should save it for the new studio, which, we're actually starting to assemble today, which is exciting. So, let's just keep this one simple. Let's keep this one simple, huh? Let's just keep this a good old fashioned rusty bucket pack crack. Uh, uh, uh. Okay, so yeah, we're just gonna do three sets of 12. Wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. Booster box done in three episodes. So, let's get right to it. Alright, already the glue gods. The glue gods are in full effect. They must have put a fresh glue stick in the machine. Because these bad boys is sticky. I don't know about you, but I think I already saw something in there. Um, I'm having problems here. Oh, there it is. Sorry, slight delay. Slight delay in game. Oh, we're upside down even. Okay. Okay. Leon, no, 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 Disappointing. 
That's cool. I'll keep you. But that, that's kind of, that's, 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 eh. Eh. I won't quite bulk it just yet. I won't bulk it just yet. Okay, that's not an energy. I must have really screwed this one up too. Well. I guess we'll just see what's back there. A metapod. Basic old metapod. We might go through this one quick after all. I'm just gonna keep screwing them all up. Battle VIP. Oh, hi, Mr. Power Tablet. I don't know if this is worth anything, but holy crap, that is a good looking card. I'm going to get a good sleeve. Where are my driving shoes? We're going to pull out the old dragon shields for that. The texture in it, it felt so nice, but I didn't want to keep touching it. Because, you know, my filthy hands and all. That right there. That's a good one. And yes, I'm going to double sleeve it. Maybe. No, I'm not. Because it's way too snug. We're not going to do that. It's technically double sleeved anyway. That's a good one. That's a good one. Oh, man. Let's, let's put that right there. All right. What else was there? And indeedy, indeedy. Indeedy. So yeah, we're gonna plan out a video one of these days and we're gonna test all different kinds of packs on scales and we're gonna figure this out we're gonna get to the bottom of it and maybe we'll even 
buy some that we think have been picked through and resealed. And we'll just see how obvious it is. If it's obvious at all. I kind of feel like it's going to be obvious, don't you? Yeah, I think it's going to be pretty stinking obvious. My books are... Oh, sorry if I'm messing with you here. I don't know what happened to my stereo back there, but it got bumped. And now it's making my bulk boxes slide away from me. Okay. I feel like I should be screwing up the openings. Every time I screw it up, I get a good pull. Maybe I should just go straight. Straight for the rares. Without even bothering with the with the chili and slinging and Chris at Copper Jaw Bunnery Boonery. Mm-hmm. Gribbon. Cause I mean Mankey, who cares? Crawl Krogunk Dancer. Hey, pretty dancer. Hey there, pretty dancer. That's pretty cool. That one's a pretty cool. That one's a pretty cool. Don't you think so? Well, I do. Ugh. Was that enough time? Did you get that? Should I bother putting it back up? You should have just paused it for that split second, you know. Sandy gas. Yeah. Mm hmm. Diddly squat. Just a second, guys. I'm getting some notifications over here I gotta deal with. I don't know why, they can't give me a minute. At least it was about money. You know? If it's about money, I got time. I got all the time. Especially if it means money in my pocket. I got all the time in the world, baby. That is a, is that, that's a turtle. That is a turtonator. That is an awesome Pokemon. I've never heard of this Pokemon, but wow. A Terminator turtle. That is amazing. That's a brilliant idea. And I kind of feel like 
Pokemon are supposed to be cute, and that's not cute. That's just a freaking unit. That's a killing machine. And, and then you got this thing. Like, what is that? What is that, like a, a sea pickle? A sea cucumber? And then you got this guy. Come on. Come on. Come on. Make up your mind, Pokemon. Are we going cute? Or are we going murderous, savage monsters? That's cool. I like that. And, you know, I bet if I shut up, I can get these card openings down to 10 minutes. And that might be what we should do. If I shut up and just do straight card cracks, I mean, pack cracks, we could probably get this done in a timely manner. Ooh, Gengar. Oh, that's a good one. Got my doubles out. Come on, get in there, baby. Can't see. Oh, I'm gonna have to get off camera a little bit. Oh no, nope, that's in front of the card. We need it to be behind the card. Oh come on! All right, I have to do this off screen. There was a lot of foil on this card, so it was super duper thick. Oh, yeah. Okay. Come on, get in there, baby. All right. Now, let's take another look at them. Oh, yeah, that's a pretty one. Venice, Venice. Oh, my goodness, this guy on the computer. I gotta send him a quick reply. Trying to work here, dude. Trying to work. Oh, I already did that. Did I do this? You know what? Who cares? Let's, let's just go for it. It was just junk anyway. Just junk anyway. Quickie ball. Quickie ball. I feel like I missed something somewhere. I got to double, triple check. I'm getting distracted. Everybody's pulling my attention. Okay, yeah, there it was. That's what I missed. Yeah, that Gengar kind of threw me off guard for a minute.
how's the last three do? Sorry, I just got a notification on my phone and it's huge and it's taking up the whole screen. Okay, here we go. Okay, let's just zip right through these because I want to try to keep this under 20 minutes. Pangoro. Okay. I don't think it's going to happen, but, you know. We're just going to zip right through these last packs. No screwing around. No screwing around. I mean, we're still going to do this, but, you know. We're just going to go through them real quick. Cook! Slugma. Choodle. Yep. A neat bird, and I don't know, it's like a weird bug ship hybrid. Who knows? Who knows? Alright, well, we broke 20 minutes, but hey, you know what? It's okay. It's okay. There's an Eevee. Let's just Whoop! See what's in. No! There we go. Okay. We got something. Chandelure. I love a chandelure. Because he's associated with my homie over here. Love it. Oh, okay. What else was in there? Luxray. All right, thanks for tuning in. Um, episode two will be out tomorrow. Twelve more packs out of this box, and then the following day, the last twelve. Uh, Rusty Bucket Saloon. Hit like, subscribe, tell your friends, tell your mom, tell your dad. Graffiti it on the bathroom wall. Come on, Rusty Bucket Saloon. We need followers. We need subscribers. We need more Pokemon packs.